my name is Mohammed Al Harat, I'm the general manager of Lexmark uh, Middle East. Uh, we have been here in operation in the Middle East since January of 2006. Hi, could you tell me a bit about your new launches this year at Jitex? Okay, this year at Jitex we're uh, launching two new product lines. Uh, the first line is our new uh, inkjet products, which are uh, five products that are of Wi-Fi, uh, uh, with one of the products, the Pro 905, being the only or the first product uh, in the market that is a uh, has a touch screen and it's also web enabled. Uh, this is uh, an advantage that uh, is unique to the Lexmark products. Uh, also, within these products, we are also launching a new Visex technology, which is the new consumable zinc uh, with the different tanks. Uh, this is something that is also new. Uh, the second segment that we've launched is a new laser product, the T656DE, which is a uh, single function mono laser embedded with a touch screen also and the, uh, our, our standard embedded solutions on them. A lot of uh, technologies and, and uh, options in printers which were considered high-end uh, features initially, but now they're taken as given, for instance, yes. screen and stuff like that. So uh, what do you predict, predict? Where do you see it going uh, well, in terms of features? Yeah, I think the printing features are adapting more and more to the customer's needs. Uh, customers now need uh, to print, but they need to print quicker. Uh, need to print more concise information uh, and, they, and the whole workflow of uh, information to output has to change. So consumers now are demanding, okay, as, as they always have been, but now at the same time they are demanding and that they are also the expectations are higher. So therefore the uh, printer that is not able to provide them the information they need at a reasonable cost, in a reasonable time frame, it, it's no longer acceptable. So therefore the technology has to emerge in that. The touch screen is only one example of that. Now a user can use the printer to access information, to go to the web, to read the news, to scan and email a document directly from a printer, no longer having to use a PC as a mediator for that information sharing. This is only one example of how technology innovation uh, is really driving the consumers that way, but at the same time consumers are driving the innovation by, by, their, by their demands and needs. Uh, there is uh, obviously a push towards being eco-friendly, being green. Yes. Do you see that as a genuine concern amongst businesses in the region? Or I think it's just lip service. I think there is definitely a concern, uh, whether it's genuine or, or not genuine. I think only you know uh, it's very difficult to judge. But at the same time, I can only judge by facts, and I can judge by the behavior I see and what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing. It is definitely it is a concern. Uh, why it is a concern differs. Every com company or organization has different motivations behind it, but at the end of the day, the real true cause behind it is noble, and it is a responsibility that everyone has as a citizen of this earth and as well as corporations. Therefore, I think the eco-friendly printing message is something that is uh, it's going to be even more important. Uh, it is something that we are proud of to be one of the innovators in that. Our new products are all have eco-friendly mode, which reduces the power, uh, reduces the toner consumption, and it forces the users to print duplex, which means it reduces the paper. This is something that is also a response to not only our responsibility as citizens of this earth, but also a part of the demand for customers. They want to be able to print more economically, more environmentally friendly, but also without compromising technology and quality. Uh, which industry sectors do you think uh, are being more active at the moment? Obviously, there's uh, a relative lull in the market. But, yeah. Uh, where do you on the on the environmental message, you mean? Yes. Yeah. And, and generally, in terms okay. of uh, generally the, upgrading the, the, their printing setup. Yeah. On the general side of printing need right now, the most active that continue to be quite active are the, the government. Government spending uh, more or less has uh, has continued. But at the same time, government sector is probably the one that's in the most need of trying to optimize and be more efficient. Uh, at the same time, banking sector is something that continues to be a, a primary uh, segment for us. However, the banking segment now with the consolidations, mergers, acquisitions, it's changing the, the infrastructure or the, or the face of, of how that industry looks like in the region. Uh, another element uh, or another sector that's very active for us is the education sector. We are engaged now with more than 25 universities across the region in trying to implement this print less, save more message, uh, either through uh, implementing solutions, optimizing the infrastructure, or changing the way that they are procuring and, uh, and fulfilling the, the, their needs. Um, do you feel at a time
time like this, uh, a lot of businesses are shying away from color or do you think they're actually embracing color uh, more proactively? More and more customers are, they're not shying away from color for sure, but they are thinking twice before they implement color. So the need for color still is there. The need for color is, dr is driven by the technology innovation as well. But at the same time, the way that that need is, is answered has to be different. For example, one of our solutions we have now on all of our MFPs is a remote, print co uh, remote color copy, which allows the users to, co to copy in color from any device, even if it's not a color device, but the output will be sent to a color device. So you really only need one color device in the area in order for you to be able to generate that color copy. Uh, this is one of the ways. The other one is through the smart color technology which controls the hours that you can print color. So therefore you make sure people are only printing color during working hours. Uh, these are all solutions that help consumers uh, manage properly their color fleet. Uh, but uh, I don't really see a decline or I don't anticipate even a decline in the need for color uh, at all in the near future. As a matter of fact, it's one of the fastest growing segments in the market. It's interesting you talked about solutions helping implement maybe office rules or things like organization rules. Uh, printing seems to be now as much about the solutions as about the actual printer, the yes. product. Uh, so could you tell me more about maybe some of your recent... Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, the printing, uh, what sets us apart, I think, uh, you know, in the market is that we, we don't really talk about printers or devices or boxes to the customer. Uh, what we talk about is the printing cycle, the printing process, the output cycle. Uh, because in reality, if you are only talking about the printing device, you're not going to be addressing the, the main source of the problem in the overspending or the inefficiencies. So therefore, it is a, it's a must. Uh, one of the ways I mentioned it earlier about this color technology, another, another uh, technology or solution that we are implementing currently with customers is the secure print release, which derives security solutions as well as reduction in printing. What this does is it allows the printer, or the uh, employee or staff members within any organization to print from any device on that network. At the same time, they will only release the print jobs that they need. So you can submit print jobs, all of us have done it. By the time you go collect the print job from the printer, you realize there is a mistake, you don't need it and you throw it away. What this does is it allows or it forces the user to go to the device to authenticate themselves and only release the print jobs that they need. By doing this, what we found is that one out of every five pages printed is deleted. It's never printed. So therefore, that's 20% savings of paper on output. And it is a huge uh, savings that customers take seriously, and we are more than happy to implement this currently. We're in the middle of implementing this within universities, within banks, and also within government institutions. What security features, what upgrades have you had to your... The security features that this, uh, the, our products allow is, one is that it only uh, authorizes you to release the print jobs that you've submitted. So nobody, if you submit a print job, nobody walking by can see the print job that you've submitted. The other security feature that it does is that it allows you to be able to print watermarks. So for example, if there is confidential data or certain data that you want to print a watermark on the, on the page, you can do that as well. Uh, you can also do a secure print release without the, the, the badge if you have a password that you can release the, the print jobs for that you've created. So these are all elements around the security features we have currently today.